Low tide might not seem a safe time for a crab to be out, but high tide would be worse, for a crab has even more enemies underwater, one of which breaks all the rules. Incredibly, an octopus deliberately strands itself to catch crabs. It must subdue its prey and eat quickly, for it's in a race against time. Such a shallow pool will quickly get too hot for it, and the oxygen it contains will soon be used up. It will be hours before the tide comes back in. But the octopus knows this, and it knows how to crawl. The octopus's ability to move means that it can keep ahead of the receding tide. Not so these anemones, which are in danger of drying out. Clownfish shelter in their tentacles for protection against predators, like this grouper. It is a close relationship, but with the water level falling, the strength of the little fish's allegiance is about to be put to the test. Normally, the anemones never dry out, but a combination of equinox spring tide and high pressure is combining to produce the lowest tide here for many years. Remarkably, a clownfish stays where it has always felt safe. But its cloak of protective tentacles now risks becoming a shroud. As long as the fish are not spotted by a predator, they should survive, to be released by the tide. Out at the mouth of the channel, the sea's predators are gathering, waiting for the flood tide that will take them up into the mangroves. Even a giant whale shark ventures close to shore, for the feeding is rich at the mouth of the channel. The shark's lazy movement is mimicked by a shoal of young porcupine fish, swimming like some huge sea creature fashioned from clockwork parts. Until now, they have lived far out at sea in the safety of the shoal. That lifestyle is over. On the rising tide, the shoal will fragment, and each little porcupine fish will take up life in a mangrove channel. <laughs> 